depression and suicide approximately one in three adults since 2011 and, and she observed it that says inactivity is killing as many Can people we avoid the inactivity the media sites are more likely to be lonely and depressed. One so this study is a crucial piece of the puzzle Isn't happening for 85% of girls and 78% of boys worldwide. As though flying, moving with speed, agility, and power, bounding from one hand to another hand, then to a foot, then from the foot into the air, gliding above the ground, springing with force into the sky. The human body is designed to move. This world exists in a state of despair. This human health fails, and the body designed for beautiful, risk-taking, creative action disintegrates into the dust from which it came. 80% of the world suffering in back pain from lack of movement and eroding spinal health. 80% of the human population remaining overweight and 99% of the world not realizing, let alone achieving its maximum potential. Even those demonstrating a certain discipline about their bodies don't realize what could be. It is in this chasm of the unknown where this story begins. The story of interdisciplinary movement and how to master your body, mind, strength, and skill. This story is as old as time. It spans every footprint of treading humans. But this story also begins with you. It begins with every small clay vessel shaped upon the potter's wheel. Nothing else. The foundation of all strength, skill, and power begins with the body, nothing else. And even deeper than that, it begins in the mind. Without the mind, the body doesn't move. And without the body, the mind is of no quality. Human purpose, building, making, creating is intrinsically connected with a body that moves and can perform those functions. Thus, discipline becomes a precondition for progress. The discipline to continue the artistic process of molding the body into something of continually higher value. Yes, one says, I follow CrossFit, and another, I follow yoga. The disciplines become boundaries, and the boundaries borders, and the borders limits the human potential. I do not believe in styles anymore. I mean, I do not believe that there is such thing as like Chinese way of fighting or the, or the Japanese way of fighting or whatever way of fighting. Mm. But basically, we have only two hands and two feet. If you just say, well, here, here I am, you know, as, uh, as a human being, how can I express myself totally and completely? Now, that way, you won't create a style because style is a crystallization, you know, I mean, that way it's a process of continuing growth. Are we not human beings? Human beings designed beautifully with degrees of complexity for which we have not yet even fathomed. We see it still emerging, one still stronger than the next, and another still yet faster than the former. And only in the breaking of these borders and the struggle to keep moving forward is the image reimagined. First, the image of man must be flipped. He or she begins with crawling, and then standing upright, and then running, jumping, and climbing. But that's only 50% of the painting. Once it's turned upside down, then we begin to see the totality of the image come into view, thus hand balancing, the strengthening of the core and upper body to become a second set of hips and legs. The structure of the human form now takes a completely different form and orientation. Handstands on demand from whatever angle. Only the human being with the strength to balance in an inverted position and then move and then walk and then go airborne using only the hands and the foundation of that strength and thus hand balancing becomes the very foundation for both the young to the older like Patrick or Venny, who in his 50s continues rewiring his mind and body for strength. Six different angles, planche, V, scalder, handstand push-up, hollow back, 
leg mobility of the leg iron cross. This is the beginning of true strength development, of balance, of proprioception, of coordination. Just the body. Many positions, but just one body. We then take the positions of standing, jumping, and hand balancing, and couple them together into powerful movement. This movement occurs in twisting and spinning around three axes of space. These movements, and what's more, the strength, flexibility, mobility, power, agility, coordination, are then applied to other disciplines without boundaries. The interdisciplinary exchange grows and the progress of strength and skill climbs upwards towards the summit of the infinite mountain. Unadulterated, pure, and accessible to anyone with a body and mind open to crossing the bridge into the unknown and training with the discipline to master something new. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. The secret to mastering body weight, strength, and skill lies not in achieving the pinnacle of some athletic form, but rather in the mind and body crafted through years of training in multiple disciplines in order to become strong in a broader array of situations, both powerful and adaptable, and able to communicate that in both personal movement as well as helping others develop in theirs. This is movement. Like this content, smash the subscribe button, and hit the bell for notifications so that you can receive further in-depth training and analysis videos. Click the links to train in any of the foundational disciplines we teach. Blessings. I'll see you in the next video.